In this week's video, we're going to talk about welding curtains and specifically the different styles and when they should be used. And then we'll briefly touch on the materials which they're fabricated from. So to begin with, we'll talk about the materials that are used. Uh, solid curtains, which would be indicative of this one to the right, are generally used when there's not a lot of traffic coming and going in and, in and out of the welding area. They're on a roller track, so you can roll them open. So a operator might roll these open, use a forklift to bring in the product, pull the forklift out, and then close the curtain behind them, and then welding can commence. So these are, these are typically fabricated out of 13, 18, or 22 ounce vinyls for the solid. And the middle portion is almost always a 14 mil vinyl, which has a welding tint to it. And the tint colors can come in yellow, uh, tinted red, tinted blue, tinted green. So there's several options for the tint. And it does block the harmful UV rays that are produced from welding applications. And then the top and bottom uh, can be, if chosen, a uh, solid color. And of course those block the harmful UV rays as well. For the strip style, we have a thicker material which is used. And these are more ideal for applications where people are coming and going on a more frequent basis. So there's no need to roll open the enclosure. You just walk straight through it and then uh, you can walk back out. So this, these are a little thicker. They're 0.12 inches thick. Uh, for the most standard welding strips and they're generally about 12 inches wide anywhere from 6, 8 to 12 inches wide. The strip width is actually chosen from the height. Uh, if, you chose a, if you choose a strip that's too narrow it'll curl at the bottom and then of course it'll be ineffective as a, uh, a barrier. So these come in Aztec red, amber, dark green and then we have solid white and also uh, solid black which will work as well which you can't see through. So let's talk about the different styles. If we go over to the ACON website, you'll see there's different categories here. If you click on the main page, welding curtains, welding booth curtains, strip curtains, bulk rolls, retractables, and then portables. So the welding curtain walls would be the first category. Uh, as I mentioned, these are solid curtains that are rolled open. They're generally used for covering larger areas, um, but they can be used for covering smaller areas as well. So here's an example of a small workshop type welding curtain that the customer can pull open and pull closed uh, as needed. And these can either be mounted from above with the hardware or they can actually be mounted from the floor, which you can see from this picture where it has a base plate that comes up and then the customer uh, just mounts the strips to the freestanding structure. So the different rolling options, you have wall to wall where you're attaching to the face of a structure a ceiling mount where you're attaching under a structure, threaded rod and chain which is dropping down from above. So you may have a 20 foot or 30 foot high ceiling and you drop down to about 8 feet above the floor where the track is located. And then of course the freestanding and if you have your own structure available you can just get the curtain only and then attach it as you see fit. The curtain will have grommets every 12 inches at the top of it and then you can use tech screws or zip ties or whatever you choose to attach the uh, curtain to your structure. And if you have an ID or truss you're attaching to, we have a C-clamp track that can clamp right onto the flange of, a, of an I-beam or purlin. And the material options, as we already discussed, they come in solid colors. So you can get this all solid or solid with tint or just tinted. And there's several color options to choose from. They're all the same price, so it's really just personal preference. And then, of course, uh, the quoting buttons on the website. So the welding booth curtains, these are oftentimes uh, freestanding, and most times they're strips, but they can also be the solid curtains. And these are set up in factories where you're having multiple welding applications taking place. So you'll have uh, zone one, zone two, zone three, and everyone's performing a welding application and they're separated from each other so the harmful UV rays and sparks don't interfere with the adjacent processes. And these can be configured in just about any, any way you can dream up. The best way to get a quote for these is to send us your layout drawing, hand sketch it or fax it over and we'll run you up a quote based on your layout and then we'll send you a detailed quote back. 
And of course these uh, booth curtains can also be rolling track style or they can hang from above. And in the welding strip curtains, these can be, of course, in the booths, but they're oftentimes uh, over doorways. So maybe you have a doorway going into a certain area of the facility where there's welding taking place, and it's pretty close to the doorway. So you can seal it off with the strips um, at that location. And the strips are about 90% of the time uh, static mounted. That is to say they don't roll open like a shower curtain rolls open. They're fixed in place and you can walk through them. If you do want them to roll open, you can get our rolling hanging mount. So this comes with the roller track. Just keep in mind if you have, uh, let's say, 10 feet wide of strip curtains, you need 20 feet wide of track to accommodate it because uh, it moves like a barn door moves. It's a one-piece construction. It doesn't fold up onto itself. And there's uh, less color choices for the strips. So you have tinted red, amber, dark green, and then of course the white, solid white, solid black, which isn't shown here. In portable versions, these are ideal for areas where you want to quickly move the welding screen out of the way. Maybe an overhead crane's coming through, or it's less permanent. Um, it, they're good for keeping your floor modular and keeping the flexibility of being able to move things around as the processes change. And they can be configured as you know multi-sided. They come in single, double, triple, quads, and they have zip ties attaching them so you can rearrange them once you get them. So a quad can form a square, obviously, or you can open it up to be you know, a different, different shape or size. And they are portable. You can get them with casters. And these are also made out of the same welding curtain material, uh, the transparents or the solid colors that we talked about earlier. The retractables, these allow for the flexibility of completely moving the welding screen out of the way. So here's a side-to-side -side version. This one would be um, ideal for maybe a robotic cell where there's an overhead gantry gantry crane bringing in product. You can simply walk it from one side to the other, attach it, and then when you're done, the associate walks it back, and it's on a roll-up drum. So as he walks, it's completely rolled up uh, as he's walking with it. And here's some examples of the different styles. These can come in solid colors or tinted colors as well. You have the roll down version, so these can roll down from above. So these operate with a pull cord. You pull the cord down and it rolls up. And then of course you let the cord uh, down or go up and the shade comes down. When it's pulled up, this has to be tied off to something. So if you don't have something to tie this off to, uh, it's not gonna be a good fit for you. These come up to 20 feet in length and 20 feet high. And then another version of the side-to-side -side guard, the CS500, these can be walked also to one side of the safety cell and then brought back. And there's an extension cord, uh, a cable, that as you walk, that cable pulls out and the curtain comes with it. And then when you walk it back, this reel brings it back and uh, stores it. And this is on a swivel, so you can actually swivel that out of the way as well. The SB5000, this is a pretty unique one. You can roll these around on casters, as you see here with this gentleman, as he's doing. And you can also um, form different work cells with this. You can form a, uh, an entry-exit area. Uh, you can really configure these uh, with what different work zones you have going on. And then when they're not needed anymore, you can just roll them up onto the post and then roll the entire assembly out of the way and store it in the corner. And we have an SB... 10,000. This also rolls up um, and down. So this works kind of like a movie shade does. And then once you've used it, you can roll it. This is on casters, which is hard to see, but you can pick this thing up and it rolls on casters and you can store it away too. So this would be for a smaller work cell that's taking place. And then finally, the SB11,000. This one comes straight down like a roller shade and it ratchets. So you can stop it at different zones and it comes with an optional mounting post or you can get just the shade and you can get uh, mount this to the side of a wall so it can swivel so it's very flexible and it's also used for forming work cells or work zones so the advantage of all these roll-up styles is they can roll up out of the way when they're not being used clearing the way for forklift 
traffic, uh, personnel walking through. It's uh, all part of the modular modular design that a lot of facilities are going for. So if you visit our website, you can just click on the welding curtains and see the different categories here. And if you need a quote, you can just click on the request for quote buttons at the bottom. And then we'll send a quote over to you right away. Hope you enjoyed this version of the learning videos at Acon Curtain Divider. If you want to visit us, we'll help you out.